This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 19th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Astronauts are still stuck on the ISS after more problems with Starliner. For the past several weeks, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams have been stuck on the International Space Station after the first crewed voyage of Boeing's new Starliner spacecraft hit a snag. Concerns raised by Boeing and NASA over thruster problems and several helium leaks have prevented the craft from making the return journey as scheduled. NASA has now said the astronauts may have to stay put till the next scheduled crew switchover in August, potentially in another ship. As in SpaceX, I bet they're not smiling anymore. Boeing and NASA are trying to put a positive spin on the extension by saying they are testing systems required for longer Starliner missions, but the project has already suffered several delays, having originally been set for liftoff for the first time with the crew in 2017. This is all at taxpayers' expense. This combined with the latest problems raises questions over the whole Starliner program. Everything Boeing. Starliner was noted as having a small helium leak before it even launched. Helium is an inert gas, much like neon or xenon, meaning that it is very unreactive with other materials. This makes it ideal when coming into contact with rocket fuel and high temperatures, although producing it is an expensive process. It is pressurized and used to push fuel into the engines at the correct rate. Helium leaks can mean that not enough fuel will reach a thruster. The leak was spotted while Starliner was on the launch pad, but was determined to be negligible, and the spacecraft was sent to orbit regardless. However, this turned into a large problem when additional helium leaks were identified following launch, meaning that several of the spacecraft's small maneuvering thrusters couldn't be used. Four of the five thrusters have been repaired while Starliner has been docked to the ISS, but it raises concerns for other thrusters cutting out during the return journey to Earth. On Starliner's return, Re-entering Earth's atmosphere requires a very specific angle of attack to ensure there is not too much friction heating up the vessel. An inability to adjust the orientation of the craft or the orbital parameters for re-entry could, in the worst-case scenario, result in a massive heat buildup and the destruction of the spacecraft with the two astronauts on board. This is not to mention that it was designed to land in the desert instead of in the water, and that trajectory is even more so important. God bless you and yours. Let's just say, I told you so. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.